<laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Gene. I'm Nathaniel. I'm Anthony. I'm Dorian. And this is Phoenix 15 Studios <laughs> Tech. Today, we're coming to you with the episode we referenced in our previous uh, PC upgrade video. Um, mm -hmm. We are a little bit further down the road now, um, and we have taken on the mission of building our own computer. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mission accomplished. Yes. <laughs> so few here's the machine we built. Uh, it's a, a pretty nice rig. Um, I'm happy with it. I think for our first time, we did pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, no it looks the part. I would say our cord management will definitely come along as time goes by. <laughs> um, but I really just wanted it to work. I mean, we didn't just cram it together, but we definitely... We have some cord management opportunities, but other than yeah. that, it's a masterpiece. We did yeah. pretty good. So our strategy with the build was, um, after watching months of videos and and, and whatever, um, just to kind of get reference uh, for how to do it, how to go about it, what parts to buy, everything. Um, a lot of help from Cameron. Thanks to Cameron um, Ooh, from the sir. upgrade of our uh, studio machine to the build of this machine. Uh, he's kind of been our our phone tech support. Um, so we appreciate him. Um, also, uh, shout out to Oz Talks and uh, Tech Talk. Uh, we watch those channels constantly. Um, Linus is a, a big resource for us as well. Um, mm -hmm. But with all that said, um, we'll get right into the build. Um, what our strategy to, to actually build it, being that there's four of us, was um, we basically wrote all the parts, the components, on little pieces of paper, put them in a, in a in a raffle bag basically, and everybody drew drew parts. Mm -hmm. um, my kids financed this project um, with and very little help from me. Um, they bought all the components, um, so they are building. I was just kind of the supervisor of the the whole build. Um, so definitely mm. blind leading the blind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my first build. Um, I did upgrade uh, mm -hmm. this PC here. You can check out that video on this channel as well, um, where I kind of talk about the, the upgrade of, of that computer. And I'm also going to do a follow-up video on how that's coming along. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah. So, we started out. Uh, Anthony, what did you pick? I had the uh, I had the motherboard and the cooling fan for the um, for the processor. Yeah, so, yeah, the, process, uh, the, yeah. The, mother, the motherboard and the cooler. Mm -hmm. You had something else, too, didn't you? Yeah, the RAM sticks. <laughs> the RAM. Mm -hmm. uh, I had the fans and the uh, what you gonna call it? <laughs> what you gonna call it? <laughs> what you gonna call it? Not a tech person at those all. What you gonna call it? <laughs> Can't forget them. <laughs> um, you had the fan. Hold on, because I'm trying. To, he had the fans and my processor's not working. The the graphics card. <laughs> so oh the GPU. Uh, he installed and then Dorian. I had the power supply and the hard drive. Which was a doozy. Uh, so <laughs> we'll start with uh, Anthony, who <laughs> honestly drew probably one of the easiest, the easiest but hardest jobs um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that we that we had. So the motherboard, uh, we went with the Tough Gaming uh, X570 Plus. It's AM4 socket uh, for our Ryzen 5, which we'll get to in a moment. Um, it comes with. A ton of features including aura sync um, which once we upgrade this with a full array of RGB components um, it's able to sync all those components uh, to basically switch from from color to color in sync with each other um, so one of the reasons we picked this particular board is a it's x570 uh, um, and it's also uh, has built-in Wi-Fi Mm -hmm. um, so on advice from Cam, X570 was the way to go, um, but definitely wanted the built-in Wi-Fi because where our studio is in the basement of our home, our modem is upstairs in the living room, where I have my PS4, my cloud drive, my Fire Cube, and the TV all linked directly to the modem because uh, mm -hmm. that was kind of our entertainment hub at one point. Um, it's kind of moved to down here now. Um, but we'll it address moves. that at some point. But Wi-Fi was essential in the build. Um, Bricks. Let's walk through it. <laughs> right. Let's walk through it, Anthony. Um, we get the motherboard out. So, like, obviously, uh, actually, you got, you didn't get the RAM. You got the processor. 
and the motherboard. Yeah. Um, so for the processor, we went with the third gen Ryzen 5. Um, it seems like a nice mid-level capable um, motherboard. They are using it for gaming. Um, primarily uh, CSGO, mm -hmm. Fortnite, uh, Valorant. Fortnite, Valor, Valorant, Valorant, even Destiny, uh, Destiny mm -hmm. 2. Um, Got a lot of so we wanted to have something that was capable, but we also had a budget breaking. to keep because the boys are paying for it with their own money that they saved. Um, <laughs> so we'll get to you know the cost of everything towards <laughs> towards the end. Um, but Daniel's hurt. Yeah, we get, <laughs> <laughs> we get the motherboard out. Oh, I'm hurt. And uh, we are installing all the components onto the motherboard before we mount the motherboard into the case. So mm. uh, Anthony had to put the processor onto the motherboard. Yeah. And then mount the cooler onto the processor, which yeah. was a doozy. I think that was the yeah. biggest problem yeah, we that's, had. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The... For some reason, the the way it was, the way you have to mount it, the holes on the ends of the cooler wouldn't line up, and mm -hmm. we kind of listened to the lessons. You kind of screw the screws in in a, in a star pattern. You don't screw one all the way in and then go to the next one. You gotta have to do it a particular way. Mm -hmm. We did it that particular way, and we. It took us a while. Yeah, it really I would say it. to the tune of probably about an hour. Mm -hmm. um, to get this thing on properly because every time we got three of the screws to catch one side of the cooler was like pitched up this way so at first we thought we were putting it on wrong that wasn't the case we even rotated it yeah <laughs> just to see if maybe we put it that wasn't the case so it was just uh, a struggle a real struggle I don't know if our struggle will pay us off with an easier time next time I don't know if it's just that board, maybe it's just that stock cooler, because we didn't buy maybe it's just um, us. a third-party cooler. We went with the cooler that comes with the processor. Again, we're on a budget. Mm. Um, and so far, thermals have been right in line. Not not too hot, not too cold. Um, mm. But, yeah, what did you what did you think? It was it was nice. I liked it. It was, it was an interesting experience. It, it was really very, was. very interesting. Um, <laughs> we... Yeah. We had a a, a a snafu with the thermal paste because we like it's very pasty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we knew there was is. some on there, but it didn't look like there was any on there. So I touched it, I dabbed it, and it got all on my finger. And then it was like, all right, did I screw it up? Because you know we hear everything. Don't touch the top of the processor. Don't touch the bottom of the processor. And we mm -hmm. didn't do that. We dropped it in. It sank right into the pin. The pin sank right in, and we latched it. That all went well. But the cooler was pure hell yeah it really was um and then once we got through that mounting it in the case was not that bad but then we mounted the case had to take it back out yeah. oh yeah because the um cooler was uh the <laughs> cooler was <laughs> cooler was backwards was we couldn't fit the ram in i think yeah we went to go put the ram in and part of the cooler was covering one of the dim slots yeah it was hanging with some overlap so it was maybe like a quarter of an inch too far over um so we actually had to rotate the cooler back the original mm. way we had it mm-hmm um, it was a good time. It was a good time. Yeah, about um, two hours. But for that. yeah, yeah, it was about two hours of a six-hour build, just uh, motherboard processor, um, and mounting the motherboard into the the case. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the case, uh, a fractal uh, case. It has. It came with two fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We added three additional for a total of five. Um, the fans we bought are uh, LED fans and got like a royal blue kind of um look to them pretty strong mm -hmm. um they work extremely Sturdy. well actually better than the fans that came with the case um and the other thing with that is we only paid 15 dollars for for three fans so at this point we didn't go all in we saved money where we could they eventually yeah. want to upgrade to full rgb uh fans um so they can uh, set the uh you know the color to whatever they like. Set the move. Um, yeah, so. Switch and the, the cool thing about the motherboard, too, uh, inside the case, it has kind of a, an, an edge towards the bottom where it has like an RGB kind of effect going on. Even when the computer's powered off, if the power supply is still powered on, you still see this kind of aura, you know, just like mm. the name says. It's uh, alive. On the bottom. So that's a pretty cool effect. Um, even when the P 
PC is not powered up, you still get that that kind of um, RGB glow uh, mm. at the bottom corner of the the motherboard. Um, so once we got through all that, and uh, we decided to switch. Um, next up was Nathaniel mm-hmm. with the fans. Hey. The, uh, so, <laughs> yeah. So Nathaniel had the uh, graphics card the graphics the card was probably the easiest portion of the entire evening. Unscrewed, <laughs> literally, yeah. like two Unscrewed seconds. Two things, slid it in, make sure it clicked, screwed it back on. That's easy. Done and done. So easy. Um, yeah. And then the fans. <laughs> yeah. So the fan, <laughs> the fans. A, we oh wanted God. the full front of the the PC. It's off camera, so you can't see it. But um, okay. we wanted the front <laughs> to have the the lit fans. So it comes installed with the factory fan in in the rear and one factory fan in the front. So we relocated one of the factory fans to the top rear of the case mm. and then orientated the two LED fans uh, in the front and then one LED fan, fan in the front top just so that whole front portion um, was lit up. And I'm pretty happy with these fans. They look great. Um, they actually light up the entire inside of the case. So even though we don't have like a full RGB setup, you get a pretty cool color effect with what we what we installed. Yeah. And the fans are doing all the all the lifting there, so yeah. And we had to unscrew them, replace them, turn them, screw them back in, unscrew them, do that whole process over again like five times. So obviously, different size fans, different brackets. Um, We also we're newbies, right? So you got to make sure the fans are facing the right way. Um, You got to have your pan your fans in the front. We have the fans in the front; they're pulling air in, and then we have uh, top exhaust and rear exhaust. Ice cold, like bl- like these things are really moving air through the through this system. They sturdy. Um, yeah, it, it's working really well. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. I'm definitely They're pleased breaking. with that. But the fans, you we wish. probably mounted and unmounted the front fans. I think two times or three times. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> just to get them in. Um, the case is a fairly easy build, and we'll reference the case as we go through the build because I think it's relevant to how easy or how <laughs> difficult things may be. Um, and for if you're new at this like we are, I would say go with I would recommend this case highly. Um, great for hiding all your your cables. Um, yeah, is... everything is very easily accessible, easy to get to. Um, the instructions were not great. No. They were okay. They were all right. They yeah. instructed. There was a lot of figuring. You know, yeah. we, we had to tug on some things and kind of just. Oh, that comes off like that? Oh, okay. And hope we didn't break yeah, it. Yeah, a lot but, of stuff comes off. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, the case actually has tons of ventilation. I mean, the entire front is mesh. So, the fractal meshify C. Mm-hmm. Uh, in black is the color we got. Um, one side is tempered glass. The other side is solid. But that's where all your cables are managed uh, behind this solid cover. And then the back uh, panel that the motherboard is mounted to. Um, so very minimal view of any of the, the cables that are used to, to hook up all the components. So really, really cool Doesn't design. Too bad. Um, mm-hmm. The back is completely mesh. The front is completely mesh. Um, so complete airflow. And if you got you know decent fans pulling air through, um, definitely a nice, nice case. Super, super, super bargain. 90 bucks. Yeah. Ninety bucks, yeah. so you can't really you can't really beat that Nine. at all. Um, but fans, it looked like you could fit three fans in the front, but we couldn't quite figure that out. It so, was all locked up, okay? Yeah, it was <laughs> yeah, we were, literally. It looks like the the, the the brackets were there, but maybe the fans we had were too big or too small or whatever. The brackets didn't work out, so we put two fans up top, two fans up front, and one in the back. Um, total of five fans does the trick. Mm-hmm. Does the it trick, does. haven't had any issues um, thus far. Um, mm-hmm. And that was all for Nathaniel. Uh, we struggled with the processor, and oh, actually the cooler. With Nathaniel, we struggled with the fans. Uh, I mean, sorry, with Anthony, we struggled with the fans with Nathaniel. Then mm-hmm. it was up to Dorian to tie it all together at the end, which was lots <laughs> of fun. Um, so much fun. So Dorian had the... Man, <laughs> he had the brakes. Yeah, he had the this power supply cords, and man. the hard drives. Um, so just to jump back to Nathaniel really quick, 
on the graphics card we went with uh, the Gigabyte Radeon RX 580 8G gaming GPU um, I have the RX 570 8 gig in my uh, system right here behind us uh, that I did on the upgrade video um, we posted a few weeks back um, it works I run Photoshop Illustrator uh, Premiere Pro After Effects pretty much everything um, you can think of uh, you know in terms of editing video and uh, you know a ton of uh, music software as well um, it's it's a great great piece so I just thought they should step it up a little bit for their system just a tad being they're gonna be gaming I don't really game on mine although it has been gamed on yeah, yeah. Um, Dorian Grand Destiny uh, CSGO and uh, Valorant and Valorant all on that and it runs fine okay. Yeah. And streams, which was the other uh, thing we'll talk about in a bit. Um, but uh, that was the, the GPU. Um, the fans uh, we'll have in the description uh, below all the parts that we've used for this computer and this build. We'll put links and descriptions mm -hmm. uh, of all the parts uh, down bottom if you guys want to uh, build this, this exact system, this setup. It works um, great. It works it really, really well so yeah, far. It really does. Um, all right, Dorian, we want the EVGA 600-watt power supply. It's a lot of cords. Lots. I said it a reminded lot. me of one of those, uh, those uh, what are the Sentinels? Yeah, the, the Matrix things. Yeah, it's, the, it's this block, and then you have just this myriad of cords and sockets. Oh, and man. it was, it, it, when we took it out of the box, it was like, wow. <laughs> What are we doing here? And I don't think any of the ends were labeled with where no. they go, really. You just have to guess. <laughs> so it was really like oh, matching God. the socket up uh, to the uh, plug on the component or the motherboard. Um, and that's where reading the instructions kind of helped us out a lot because it did kind of tell you uh, the map of the motherboard told you what got plugged in where. Um, mm -hmm. And then the instructions for the power supply kind of had a little bit. But the instructions are not great. YouTube is going to be a best yeah. friend, man, because these instructions, Some Indian a lot is left to interpretation, and you don't want to be plugging mm -hmm. in all this stuff and leaving stuff to, to interpretation. So yeah. um, we took our time, man. Uh, this was the last uh, two hours of the build, maybe a little less than two hours. This is making it look um, like a couple of hours. Yeah, and we yeah. flipped this thing back and forth about 60 times. <laughs> Laid it on the side, stood it up, turned it around, took all the panels off, put one of the panels back. Like it was just a constant rotation and trying <laughs> to see what the best angle to get to run these cables through. So to when you see up. these rigs that are built <laughs> and the they are just clean, neat, no wires anywhere, like I admire that those took, dudes yeah. that much more now because it's not easy to achieve, man. Really, it is it's tough. Really, it's a lot of now, and this case provides a mm -hmm. lot of spaces for you to run cables through. Like it has dedicated spots all around the perimeter of the motherboard mm -hmm. to, to run just, yeah, uh, cables cord, through yeah. to kind of have as little cable showing inside the case um, as possible, you know, on, the, on that side of the tempered glass. But still not easy. And in some cases, mm -hmm. we wanted to run it where it would be super clean and the cable wasn't long enough. Long enough. Mm. So, we'll worry about aesthetics once we get used to the building uh, portion of it. But um, we went with the uh, system drive. We went with a Western Digital That's one cool. terabit uh, SATA SSD. Um, mm -hmm. So, we get quick boot up times, um, quick load times for the games that we uh, download on this on this system. Really uh, we went with a two terabit Seagate Barracuda uh, mechanical drive, um, just for some added storage space. Um, we're not going to be doing any real media on on this system uh, that we know of. Um, it's really strictly a gaming, uh, you know, and streaming uh, system right now. Uh, but who knows? Down the line, we might want to do some audio production but we definitely will Perhaps. be upgrading uh these drives um or one of these drives or adding a drive <laughs> mm -hmm. um this motherboard I mean, hey. <laughs> uh has four uh sata ports um and it also has uh two m.2 slots um so we could add up to four more drives in this computer if we wanted four? to four yeah 
<laughs> yeah. Um, great thing about nice. and now seeing it nice. full circle with the upgrade and the limitations on my system here, and now being able to build this and see how limitless it is as far as the components you use, um, we can slap an array of processors onto this motherboard, and they all work for it. There's no limitation there. We can go up to 128 gigs of RAM in this system. There's there, it just you can max this out and get so much mileage out of this as opposed to my system that's maxed out at 32 gigs of RAM. The motherboard won't take anything above 64, even though uh, the manufacturer says it will. Check that out in the video uh, below. And if you are privy on how to fix that issue, I would appreciate the help. Um, That's big boy words. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the RAM is RAM that I actually bought for this system that it wouldn't take. Um, I bought two mm -hmm. sets of 32 to top this one out at 64. Didn't work out. So, and then uh, Adorama, the suckiest company on earth, uh, does <laughs> not take <laughs> does not take things back, even if they are not used. No refunds. No refunds mm -hmm. or exchanges. They wouldn't even exchange it. I had the box, you can't every, all the GameStop. packaging, everything. Mm -hmm. Would not exchange it unless it was defective. $3. And if it was defective, you have to go through the manufacturer to have it replaced. So just a word to the wise, you know, definitely garbage. pay better attention. This is my, our first time, so I was really kind of uh, out of my element. And the last mm. thing I thought was I would buy something and be stuck with it if I couldn't use it or decided I didn't want it or whatever. But word to the wise... Uh, Adorama sucks. Do not patronize them. I wouldn't anyway. <laughs> um, I mean, hey, we made like, it work. Just, just for the record, they suck. Yeah. <laughs> um, exactly. So, <laughs> what was your, what was what other call outs do you have as far as putting in the hard? I think the hard drives were pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. mounted those. Um, the mechanical drive is actually in the bottom of the case, behind the power supply. There's there's a uh, a bay that you can pull out, mount the uh, mechanical drive, put it back in, and put a cover on it. So it's kind of stashed down in the bottom, well ventilated down there as well. Yeah. The mm -hmm. SSD is behind the solid panel um, on the right side of the machine. Um, you cannot see it, either of them. They're both pretty much hidden from sight. Um, cable management, again, super easy coming out of the bottom of the case and coming from the rear of the case. Um, just easy to, to, to hook up. Um, I don't think we really... I think the hooking up the power supply was probably the biggest. Getting all the components power. And then the first mm. night, we couldn't get the all five fans going. Yeah, no. Because... It didn't fit. Three... three uh, there wasn't enough ports. Yeah, three <laughs> ports on the motherboard are clearly labeled, yeah. uh, you know, case fan. Mm. Uh, or chassis fan. Um, but there was only three. There were some other ports that looked the same, but they were labeled differently, and I don't want our basement to explode. Yeah. So we left them alone, and we called our buddy Cam the next this morning, like it fits. and he said, uh, do you see this? And I said, yeah. He said, you can plug it into there. And I said, all right. So the next morning, we got all five fans going, um, so yeah. that was all that was all good. Um, and then uh, to talk more about the, the, the cables... Um, hmm. they're very stiff. I remember that. Yeah, not super <laughs> flexible. Like, and when you're trying to bend it and uh, turn it around, components and through, here. through the 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 ports that are provided, it gets a little it gets a little dicey. Um, I know. Well, we both have fairly big hands, but this is a um, I, uh, ATX mid I've size case. So there was it. enough room for us to navigate inside of it. But when you're we're like feeding these wires <laughs> through to each other. It, it took like I, I couldn't see and I've watched it a million times, seen one person build one of these things, like just one. They're 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 pros for a reason, man. It's it's mm -hmm. tough. It's tough it was really tough is. for us because we're new. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it'll get easier. 
Let's hope for, so. I definitely, I definitely yeah. learned. Um, so we know already we have at least three more builds planned. Um, one is for my wife. We're actually going to get this same exact case. It comes in pink, and she <laughs> wants pink. Because she has a cricket maker that she got in kind of a rose pink color. She's mm -hmm. going to match her whole aesthetic mm -hmm. over there. Um, check out that video on Phoenix 15 Studios Arts and Crafts. She unboxed her uh, cricket maker. Um, you can check that out and see kind of what we're, what we're referencing with her case. But it's going to be a pink or a white case. White would be right. Um, cool. And she's going to do uh, some, white you know, ones some pink or RGB with pink you know, get RGB lights and kind of tone them pink nice. to pink match. So. Um, <laughs> my father wants one built, um, but he does a ton of video, uh, photography, um, among other, you know, among other things. Mm -hmm. Um, so he wants an i9, uh, you know, base system or Ryzen 9. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> keep an eye out for that. And then I'm going to be building, uh, one for my, uh, studio setup here. I do a lot of music production, video production, uh, photography and, and photo editing. Um, so I'm going to need something pretty strong too, but, um, that's probably going to be later down the line because, um, I'm going, we're going all out on that one. Yeah. That'll be the grand See finale, mm -hmm. that one. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for all that. Um, the final piece to our, our, uh, our build was something I'm kind of tight about because I got to use this component <laughs> for, for a few weeks before uh, all the parts <laughs> arrived, which was a whole other nightmare, but uh, we won't get into that today. Oh, yeah, it, took a um, month. Yeah, yeah, a month. it was a mess. Uh, but once we got yeah. all the components in, I had to kind of fork it over. Um, but <laughs> it's a Havit brand uh, mechanical RGB keyboard and mouse combo. Mm -hmm. um, I love the sound. It is it's incredible. It clicks. a pleasure it, it, it to use, let's just say. Um, a few different um, Sound like a receptionist. RGB modes, uh, you know, you can set it to with the easy click of two buttons. I think it's like FN and, and, yeah, F, and F9. F9. Yeah. You can click through uh, the available, um, you know, phases of light. And, and uh, mm. the mouse also has its own dedicated buttons to kind of uh, change. change those, those lights as well. Um, the attention. sound, I mean, it's like, it's, it's just so Someone, gratifying. Like a, a, yeah. a school reception. Yeah. So like, the day they, we, the night we finished building this, we kind of just grabbed any keyboard we had laying around and hooked it up just to kind of get, get the computer going. Mm -hmm. And the next morning I came down and, and my stock keyboard was back <laughs> on my computer and it was just so flat and stupid and I hate it. I'm so mad. No I'm still noise. mad. Yeah. It was so silent oh. and just, uh, <laughs> No lights. It was just sad. Mm -hmm. Only light on mine is caps lock. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, yeah. Caps lock, number yeah, lock. It's pretty, pretty depressing. <laughs> um, but mm -hmm. just to get into um, pricing, our, 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 so our total build time was right around six hours. Um, mm -hmm. It felt the, like longer. Yeah. It was forever. Yeah, it really <laughs> did. The prices were decent, component for component. Total, all in all, I think we spent about nine hundred and twenty-five dollars ish, somewhere in there. Um, all of this was free shipping uh, via Newegg um, because we spent over a certain amount. Um, and Amazon. Well, we only got the fans from Amazon. Yeah, amazing. And we got free no, shipping. No, the keyboard and mouse came from Amazon as well. Did we? Yeah. No. Yeah. We'll put the links in the description. I don't remember because we went back and forth for a while. At first, we were buying everything on Amazon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we checked Newegg, and they had a few better deals. They actually had a processor uh, hard drive combo, which is why we had um, Seagate and Western Digital because they had a great deal on the uh, the Seagate Barracuda um, 2 terabit. Um, so, yeah, great prices. I think the keyboard and mouse was like $50. $50. For the keyboard and the mouse, and it's like super, super nice. Like I have nothing but good, good things to say about that thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So for nine twenty-five, I kind of did some some rooting around mm -hmm. to look at other uh, pre-built <laughs> yeah, systems yeah, with similar specifications, um, and how they were priced, and we saved ourselves probably. Anywhere from two to four hundred dollars, depending on what brand you know it mm -hmm. was. Even looking at Facebook Marketplace and some people trying to sell uh, similar systems, um, they're clearly trying to get all their money back that they put 
into yeah. those systems. Never, go to, yeah, never go to Facebook you know, Marketplace. Yeah, it's please don't. Wasn't a good scene. So um, our recommendation after this, well, my recommendation after this first build is, if you have the patience and you're somewhat tech savvy, um, do it yourself. Do it. I do, I do it. it myself. Do it. Yeah, I don't think I would um, buy another pre-built computer because. Um, I'm patient enough to sit here and tinker with it and, and, and build it. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? <laughs> I think... I'd probably if you I had 1100 bucks, would you prefer to buy the components and build it? Or would you want to just buy one and come home and take it out of the box and turn it on? Depends on how I'm feeling, because I'm really lazy, so... I, I me, I'd it. probably build it, just because, just because I... I know what's going in there. I know the statistics and everything, and I can upgrade it if I feel like it. That's, I think that's the biggest thing. But if I'm, if I'm lazy, I'll probably just buy a pre-built one and just like <laughs> kind of stick with it. Yep. I'd probably I'd build it. I'd build it. It's just it satisfying. Mm -hmm. Very satisfying. Yeah. Just so building your own. The, the most satisfying part is like we get through six hours of over here toiling and sweating oh and God. turning <laughs> a screwdriver. These <laughs> turning a screwdriver and just you know. <laughs> just trying to get the components in, and then you step back and look at and the creation. Yeah, just, so we take it all, we get it off the workbench, which was here. We had this cover with plastic, and we were just, and we hook it up, grab a TV off a table somewhere, just to run it through the the, the GPU. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we hit that power button, and we got it posted the first time, no problem. Boot it right up. First um, try. First try. So that was a big, mm. big sigh of relief after all that. Not all that time. That was a beautiful thing because I think if it would not have booted up, I, I <laughs> we would have thrown the. I, yeah, I, I, thrown I, I was not. Cry. I was not <laughs> going to bed. I'd so cry. we we started at about eight thirty p.m. Yeah. and went on through to about three a.m. in the mo yeah three in the morning. Oh, mm -hmm. boy, three and I was not going to sleep until that thing was on. <laughs> right. So we got it on. Um, we. Went ahead and uh, started installing stuff that night. Um, once I saw that it was running and I got Windows installed, which was actually also pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Takes a few minutes, but it was very easy. Um, once we got all that done, I went to bed. I was done. <laughs> they were up the rest of the night, um, you know, getting everything installed. By the time I came down the next morning, they were playing uh, Fortnite. Yeah. Everything and yeah, yeah everything. pretty much everything. Uh, yeah. Thing. CS:GO was installed. Everything was installed. <laughs> um, Anthony hates CS:GO. The interesting feature I, with I the software for this the uh, for this motherboard. I'm sorry, this uh, GPU. It has software uh, that allows you to stream directly from it, um, and control your audio. Um, the clocking of the GPU, like it's super intuitive. Very easy to use. You can even do screen captures. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it captures audio and video from your Screenshots, desktop. Screenshots, all that. Screenshots, like, it's it's amazing. And I knew that because I figured it out when I upgraded mine. So I recommended that they go with the same thing, being that their plan was to eventually stream from the from mm -hmm. this unit. So um, yeah. the only thing we need now is a webcam Yeah. Yeah. for it. Um, and it's then the we are a stream machine. So let's talk about the streaming. Like you guys have hours on it already. Um, we got the built-in yeah. Wi-Fi on the motherboard. Mm -hmm. um, we are not too far from the modem. We're one level below the modem, so we're not miles away. We're not, you know, two floors apart. Yeah. Um, but talk a little bit about how how the gaming experience is so far. I feel like like whenever oh. you're playing normally and then when you're streaming, like whenever you're streaming, you just get significantly worse. <laughs> <laughs> like, like once you know people's watching, you're just like they're watching. The game's like, all right, let's yeah, just you screw get a this little, guy you over. get a little nervous. <laughs> but um, I I feel like it's a it's a it's a it's a whole new game. Like I was playing Destiny, and I was getting killed by like <laughs> the lowest rank enemies, <laughs> and it was because I had to press six buttons at once and I couldn't. So Six buttons. It was hard. <laughs> it was hard. Destiny on the PC yeah, is, I mean, is, is different. The performance is pretty smooth. Like, I yeah, mean, yeah. I, mean, I will yeah. say that. I it really is. Like I enjoy it. What? So, um, as of right now, I think. Well, me personally, I don't think I'll ever be a PC gamer. I grew up on consoles. I love. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh you know, a handheld controller. 
Um, I did have a point, you know, back in the the dawn of first person shooters where uh, in shop class we would play uh, Wolfenstein 3D and Doom oh, yeah. and Duke Nukem and all those. And you pretty just use the directional cursors and another button to shoot and another button to reload. And that was pretty much it. Space bar to jump. <laughs> door, door that was it. Was now it's like a whole other whole other ball game. So yeah. um, I guess we'll see if that's something we can adjust to and get comfortable with. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's all it is. I know it's with practice. Microsoft controllers, I know you can... Uh, you know, run them to a PC PC. with some games if they'll take it. Um, So maybe we'll figure that out. But, you know, we're not purists like some people. I don't bash PC players. Nope. If that's your your bag, that's your bag. If you do both, great for you. Now we got a PC, we got a PS4, and we got an Xbox. So, I mean, we bought it full circle or triangle. And two two switches. Yeah, don't forget the switch. We are the (laughs) the top. Microsoft, Sony. Yeah, we we, we are a gaming household. So, um, it bought us full circle. It's a new experience. Um, I would say it's it's super gratifying to come downstairs and, and look at this thing. Even when it's not on, it's like, man. Just like we, caress we, it. We built that, yeah. Mm. We built that. Yeah. Right. Yes. I, don't, I don't know what's going on with this thing when I'm not down here. I just want to say that. Just lean my head against the glass. Like. He's like, uh, Jim Carrey and Cable Guy. Oh, come here off me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I recommend it. You know, especially, you know, like I mentioned on our Facebook post, we did it together. You know what I mean? That was important. Mm. Um, was it frustrating? Yes. Absolutely. Definitely. Um, Definitely. But we were probably just more frustrated in our inexperience than the actual yeah. uh, deed that we were yeah. uh, trying to carry out. So um, I think as we go along, the more we build, um, the better we will get and the more interesting it'll get. Yeah. Um, mm. I don't know if I would try a different case anytime soon. It's, it's comfortable with this nice. one, but this is very easy yeah. to build. I'm not saying nice, other cases nice. won't be as easy, and I've have heard some suggestions on other cases, but this was a great experience for for uh, someone that's new um, in building. Um, I think this was a great a great option for us. So thanks again, Cam, uh, mm-hmm. for the for mm-hmm. the case suggestion. It's like every time best. we were going to head in the wrong direction, he was like, "Nope, don't do that." Yeah. Do this. <laughs> um, do this. Excuse me. That's yeah. Some work. So because we were picking <laughs> stuff out on you know on PC Part Picker and. Uh, nice. I'm like Cam. Uh, oh, he's like, what? Uh, you know, what case are you looking at? I'm like, we're looking at this. He's like, no, don't do that. Get this one. Uh, what motherboard are you looking at? No, don't do that. Da, 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 da. Get this one. I'm like, all right. <laughs> but um, it's yeah, funny. it helps to have somebody who you who kind of knows their stuff to kind of bounce ideas off of because we could have made a million mistakes with this build if not yeah. having that guidance. Mm-hmm. Um, but watch YouTube as well. Take notes. Um, you yeah, know, these guys know guy. their stuff. They put all this information in the description for you to reference, so reference it. Use it. Click those links. See how much stuff costs. Price stuff out. Do it. Um, mm-hmm. And I would say if you're thinking about it, don't don't be scared. Just do it. Just make sure you buy from a source that will accept refunds or exchanges for components if they're incompatible. Nike. Just do it. Because if you bought something from Adorama and it was not compatible, that's and it. it was you're a newbie and you just didn't know, you're stuck. You're with screwed. that part, Got you're screwed. You really Period. Are. You could try to resell They're not it. They're not taking it like... back. You're gonna have to just stick with it. I mean, it worked out in our case because yeah. the RAM I had didn't fit in my upgrade, but we just held it over to use for this system. So now both these systems have 32 gigs of RAM. So mm-hmm. it worked out, but not because of Adorama, because nah. they suck. <laughs> <laughs> suck. Period. And you don't forget that. Don't you ever forget it, Adorama. Don't you, you suck. dare. Garbage. You suck. <laughs> anyway. Buy anything from there. I will come to your house, and I will backslap you. Yeah, and then uh, with Newegg, um, <laughs> we ordered probably 98% of the parts from Newegg. Um, obviously, pretty easy ordering process. Um, they split. Even though we ordered it all at the same time, I don't know they're shipping from different locations or whatever, but Perhaps. they came in three separate shipments. Uh, one of which was lost by UPS. Mm. Also um, UPS. So we ordered on August 13th. It wasn't here. It was this last box we were waiting for was said to be delivered on the 15th. Uh, 
it did not get delivered. I got a text message. I go outside. Nothing was there. That Monday, the 17th, we call um, and start initiate the claims process because we didn't receive it. One month later. Here we go. Literally yeah. a month later. Okay, Mark. We finally get it. Uh, new Not even an apology. Fit, completed the claim <laughs> and uh, sent us replacement parts. Thank God, because we would have been out about 500 bucks um, oh, if that claim had been denied for whatever reason. So, um, yeah, that was that. I don't really have yeah. a beef with New Egg at all. I mean, they handled it, I guess, how they needed to handle it. There's a lot of scumbags out there that say they didn't get something and they got it just to try to rip, you know, rip whoever off. Mm -hmm. um, so I get it, but man, when a customer has to wait 30 days for something they paid for um, <laughs> and didn't blame, get delivered, I blame UPS. It was, yeah. I, I know mean, what you did. <laughs> UPS was just the worst. I, that was the worst experience. Was like, Ooh. I've never had a package. <laughs> I've never had a package lost before. Yeah, this was my first time really dealing with that, but I mean, between the two, there was just like chopped communication. UPS was just hard to communicate with. You can't get anybody on the phone. You know the typical yeah. stuff. But when we finally got it, it was all the sweeter. Um, the bill went well. The computer's up and running. Uh, they're gaming on it. Once again, works like a charm. Yeah, works mm, like a charm. So and smooth and we already crisp, have our uh, our things that we want to kind of upgrade geez. over over time. So uh, we definitely going to get a full full RGB array going. You know, yeah. yes. um, an RGB uh, cooler, um, mm -hmm. RGB fans, um, and eventually maybe some RGB RAM. We'll yeah. toss that in there just to round out the whole experience. Yeah, but that'll be nice. You know, cool. down the line, we'll That's see. Nice. Um, so stay yeah. tuned. That's mm -hmm. been our uh, our experience on our first build. Um, thank you everybody for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, we appreciate hope it. you guys will comment, like, subscribe, um, support well, us, support my kids doing. and their it's endeavor. Uh, the essentials you know, with uh, oh yeah, the essentials. We are essential. Mm -hmm. The Essential Squad is in the building. Mm -hmm. uh, also, check out the Essential Squad on Phoenix Fifteen <laughs> Studios <laughs> Gaming. Uh, where they stream games and act a complete fool. Oh, yeah. We do um, that on a daily basis, but this time we decided to record it. So, And we <laughs> also have the uh, uh, Essential Squad podcast um, where we'll be talking about all gaming-related um, events um, mm -hmm. and happenings, uh, current happenings. and of old. Um, also, go <laughs> to our website, www.phoenix15studios.com, uh, to our Partners tab where you can find our uh, marketing affiliates, um, and some great deals uh, with Loot Crate, um, Gamefly, and a slew of other partners that we have there. Uh, click those, those links, links if you buy anything or browse or whatever. Um, it all browse. goes to supporting us and our channel Do and it. our builds and everything else we're trying to do. <laughs> um, so we appreciate you guys. Uh, definitely keep an eye out. Hit that bell for notifications on our next episode. And mm -hmm. we will be talking to you soon. I'm Gene. I'm Nathaniel. I'm Anthony. I'm Dorian. And this has been Phoenix 15 Studios Tech. We'll talk to you soon.